Hi everyone, this is Cindy, and I finished with this uh, Christmas journal. I kind of discovered it um, when I was going through all my Christmas uh, bins. I'd forgotten I had gotten this cover last year, and I just thought it was perfect for Christmas. It's the green and uh, red stripes through it, or it might be brown, but they're reddish brown. And um, I had it ready. I had the signatures already put together. I just didn't have them sewn in or decorated. So I really like... Um, the signatures I picked for this, or the pages I picked for this, so I'll get to sh I'll show you those in a second. I made the cover with some corrugated cardboard that I put a napkin on, and this music part right here is some tissue. I just mod podged it on. This is a stamp that I got at uh, Target, and just put it on some white paper and inked it up, and then put it back to it on some red paper. And this word believe uh, came from. Uh, target as well and it's wood so anyway three signatures one and a half inch spine the whole thing measures five and three quarters by seven and a half I put a hair tie and post closure and let's look at it oh and the, on the I've got some um, charms on the signature strings and these were at one time uh, ornaments on a little bitty miniature tree I had and um, they're kind of frosted, I guess is what you say, frosted plastic. So anyway, okay, let's look at this. I'll try to stay in frame. Um, made a pocket out of some um, sticky uh, decor decorative tape I got at the Just a Buck store. Put it on some white paper and just use edge punch to make a prettier um, pocket. And I found this in my stash. I have no idea where it came from. Um, Probably a freebie somewhere. It says this book belongs to and it's backed onto manila folder. This page here is the original um, flyleaf page for the book and is still attached. I just added this cluster here of just different scraps of paper. This was a punch out I had in my stash and I just glued it on as a stash. And I had bought a whole little booklet of all these little Chris. Uh, yeah, Christmas cookie uh, recipe, so I just, and they're perfect size for journaling cards, so I just tucked one in there. Here's the start of the signature, and uh, you'll see the pages I picked that I really liked. And this one, I'm not sure it was copy dye, but somehow it has this shinier stuffiness on it, so I'm not sure how that happened. But anyway, I had this tree, I think I got it at Hobby Lobby, yeah, Hobby Lobby right there. And I left it blank so it could definitely be decorated by whoever gets this journal. And this is just a collage journaling card that just slips in here because I put the tree in like a belly band. And this paper it's on is wrapping paper. Yes. And this is just some graph paper with some stickers on. I found this paper at the Just a Buck store and I bought everything I could get my hands on. It is a flocked red paper and it's just gorgeous. I love it. So it's great for like Valentine's, Christmas, and whatever. And um, there might have been another color of it. So it's in my stash somewhere. Maybe I'll find, dig it out one day. I did some stenciling. On the white pages, you'll see some stenciling. And on this one, this is just a book page that I added some scrapbook paper to in this sticker and just made a little uh, corner tuck. This is a, a playing card that I just sewed some um, blank paper on so you can write on it. This is from um, a collection I bought. I want to say it's Christie Art Designs. This is like some onion skin paper. This was some paper I bought also at that Just a Buck store. And I'm not sure what they intended it for because it's double sided, but it's gold and creams and it works really well in Christmas journals. This is a tuck I made out of some um, corrugated cardboard again and with some napkin mud podged on it. And you'll see a bunch of tags like this, the two from tags. I get them a lot at the Dollar General store and I got some at Dollar Tree and I just have a whole bunch of them in my stash and they make great tags for journals. This is a Christmas card and I had this uh, paper clip that I bought somewhere and I just, this is just a uh, index card I just decorated with some scraps. And that's actual fabric on there. This is, it was at some, uh, one time some um, gift wrap and I was experimenting with it. So I copied it on my copy, my copier, um, you know, printer and then put some lime paper on the back. So this was just some scrap of it I had. It's a little cluster with buttons. That's on the other side of that uh, Christmas card. And there's another cluster with some lace and ribbon and papers. Stenciling, 
There's the flock paper again. Here's just a little cluster I made out of a two from uh, tag. This little scrap of paper here and an actual postage stamp. And here's another one of those two from, um, I don't know what they are, tags, I guess, uh, you know, that you mark your gifts with that makes a great tag. And it's on this graph paper. This is gift wrap too that I had put on my copier. I think I was just experimenting, seeing if I could make it thicker or whatever, and that's just some scraps I had left over. So this is just a little scrap uh, pocket I made or tuck just out of some wallpaper and scrapbook paper, and this was an image from some sort of uh, Christmas um, um, junk mail. And I just have a little booklet made out of book page and just scraps of decorative paper and uh, blank paper, music paper. And that is the end of the signature. And the next signature is gonna be the same sort of papers. I had another one of those little punch outs. And here's another one of those two from tags I was telling you about that I think I got this one at Dollar General. I just think they're cute. I mean, they're great uh, for decorations and they're great size journaling cards. So I just, when I see some I like, I just grab them. All right, here's a pocket made out of scrapbook paper and here's some ribbon and a label and some wallpaper and it just, collaged on there and this is a tag with um it's made out of book page it's got blank paper on the back so you can write and then a napkin's been mod podged on the front it's a large tag some more graph papers and that flock paper that i just put a cluster on there this was some scrapbook paper and i just took it was in a i think a bow bunny set and i just took coordinating paper and made this pocket and it's got um the decorative edge cut there and this was i um, I'm not sure what it was exactly, but the colors were great. So it's like a little booklet. Just put it in there. I think what it was was like a, a thing you write a person's name and you put it on the table. What do you call those things? Or shows where people sit, place markers or something like that. Okay, here's another cluster of just two from tag and a stamp and just some uh, clusters of fabric and lace and a button and another one of those two from tags I got at the Dollar General. This is a piece of uh, burlap ribbon. It's got the um, holly printed on there and uh, it's backed onto some green paper and I just made a belly band out of it and I found this at Salvation Army or Goodwill or something. It, there was four of them on a page. It's like invitations and you run them through your printer but they make great journaling cards. So this was a um, Christmas card. Some more paper I was experimenting with running them through my printer. I took one of those Christmas cookie recipes and made it into a pocket. And this is another one of those uh, Dollar General uh, two from tags. Here's a little cluster just covering up part of that um, Christmas card. Another uh, tuck made out of core graded uh, cardboard and um, napkin, and then uh, just another one of those Dollar General tags. Just a little cluster of items. This is a small little tuck made out of um, just scraps of paper that are stapled together. And this is a greeting card with the blank paper on the back and it tucks right in there. And on this side, I took one of the Dollar General tags and made it into a tuck. And this is just a decorated index card. Looks like I got it upside down. Um, I just had some music paper on my desk and a sticker, and I put it on there and decorates that card up just nicely. Uh, flock paper, graph paper, and that green um, Christmas wrap paper again. Um, this is a flip. Robin had sent me these um, octagon-shaped quilt blocks and I just stacked three different sizes on top ran a stitch across it and made a little fabric flip out of it and that's the end of the second signature that's just a sticker on there third signature papers are very similar uh, I can get turn another little cluster just stack some Christmas colored papers some more of that paper. This was some stickers I had of like candy, so I just put it on there. The flock paper, stenciling on it. This was some of that bow bunny paper, and I believe this might have been, I don't know if it was or not, the background was, but this was. I put another sticker on it, and this is an index card that just decorated with scraps that were on my desk. 
Um, this was from uh, another Reader's Digest uh, condensed book, and it's got uh, the Christmas holly and our pine boughs and bow. And I just added some. The stripe it here is bias tape, and this is a ribbon here, and it's the same ribbon I have on the back of the spine or back of the book. And then I put in one of these. I'm going to call it fairly vintage. It's a recipe card. I've had it forever. I got them originally from Dollar General probably 20 years ago. So, been in my stash forever. This is a just a sticker. Another uh, Christmas card. And on um, this pocket, it's just made from scrapbook papers and a label and a little image here. That, guess what? I've got upside down. Oh, wonderful. Maybe one, no one will notice right off the bat. But anyway... Image is upside down, it can be covered up. And this is a, a little booklet made out of book page and scraps. And just put it right in there. This one was really tight to get it in. You would think with all the, there we go. All those layers together wouldn't be so, so tight, but it is. Okay, and what else? Okay, um, this was a picture from the Reader's Digest book too. It's just a man shoveling snow. I just like the colors. And it's just a winter scene with the little birds there. So um, I just backed it on this scrapbook paper and this was a piece of packaging. I think I just ripped it. It was already red. and put a tag in there. This has got lime paper on the back and the napkin on the front. It's more of that flock paper. This is a making a list and checking it twice like a to-do list um, notepad. I just uh, tore a page off and glued it on. Place to journal. Stenciling. This is a pocket made out of burlap. I just glued it onto some paper and stitched around it. It's kind of hard to tell that it's stitched. Made a pocket out of it. And this is a journal uh, index card. It's just got scraps of Christmas paper, uh, fabric on it. Some more stenciling, graph paper. This is another flip. Um, Robin had sent me this little um, triangle here, and I just had this scrap of red paper and red fabric in my stash, so I just backed them together, my little fabric flip. Here's another pocket made similar to the one in the very front. I just put some of that sticky, it's almost like, it's not like duct tape, but it reminds me of duct tape in the type of roll it is. It's, it looks just like a roll of duct tape, not as strong as duct tape. Anyway, I stuck it on some paper, and then I edge punched it, and then added some ribbon. And then I add a little bit of washi there just for fun. This is a piece of white cardstock. I just added different um, scraps to it. And then I did corner punches on it to make an interesting journaling card. And there's another paper clip. And you know what? I can just clip this. Um, we have a Christmas story game. No one was interested in it anymore. So I just kept the cards out of it. And I put them in this journal just for fun. And um, this is some washi tape, and this was some um, wrapping paper from one of my gifts last year. And when I saw that, I thought, oh, I want that. So I very carefully, you know, tried not to rip it up and, and crinkle it up. So I just backed it on some cardstock and made a pocket out of it. And this is a cluster, just different, some wallpaper and some different um, scraps of paper. This house was a sticker. And I thought the colors go great with this journal. So I stuck it onto this bow bunny paper and cut it out and made like a, um, a tuck out of it. And I have another one of those um, book page journaling card uh, tags that's got the lime paper on it. And I put a napkin on it. I stitched around it and I just put it right here in the back. So anyway, that is this journal. And it's gonna be for sale in my Etsy shop, Books by Burke. And I hope I was on uh, frame most of that. So anyway, um, if you're interested in it, the link will be below, and I thank you guys for watching. So see you later. Bye.